what the? Alrighty guys, Mark Delami here with another unboxing for you guys today. And this time I got Starfield, this is the Constellation Edition. And we're going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing to see if this edition is worth picking up. But before that, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. So we got pretty plain box here, simple and clean, which I'm always a big fan of simple and clean if they do it right. And it looks like there's a bunch of different designs here, which is pretty cool. Imagine if this glows in the dark, how crazy that would be. I did get mine, of course, on Xbox, but I guess since it's a digital game only, I can play it on both. If that's why it's showing Xbox Series X and Windows, which would be pretty cool, but when it comes to collector's edition, any kind of physical editions, it should be physical. I mean, that's just day one stuff. But it does come with the collectible steelbook, so you already know that was the biggest reason why I picked this up. And here's the bottom of the box. The top, which it is kind of heavy right there. And we have the side. The other side. And the back. So everything that comes in here, which there's a still book, but there's also another edition where you can just get the still book and I guess the DLC stuff that comes with it. I do have that pre-ordered too, but for some reason it's taking forever. And the digital game comes on this physical little, I believe it's a credit, how the credits work in the game, which is actually kind of cool if you're going to get digital anyways. At least put it on something physical and not just a piece of paper. Here's the Starfield Chrono Mark watch, and this is what's taking up most of the money because this is a pretty expensive collector's edition. Not the most expensive I ever paid, but 300 bucks is a lot. And it comes with a watch case, which actually looks pretty cool. So I'm pretty happy about the box. I don't know. I guess I'm getting too old where the boxes are actually pretty cool for me. And we got the Constellation patch and the DLC, which includes the Shattered Space Story expansion, which is always good. Um, the Constellation skin pack and the soundtrack plus art book. Here's another thing where if it's a collector's edition it should have a physical art book which i like collecting but this one seems to be digital and the soundtrack which is also digital which is terrible but it is what it is and yeah the bottom okay so let's go ahead and continue with the quick unboxing let's get started okay so now i got some of the tape out the way and that slip cover here's another box well the box that's within the slip cover so the only thing that's different is just the top, really. Oh, the life pack right there. Some little differences here and there. And yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and open it. Oh, put that still book right there on top. Always nice. So we have the still book right here. Ooh, okay, this is nice. Hefty, I guess that's that... Uh, credit thing in there but very cool look at that simple and clean but it does look like some space going on there okay the spine and the back okay i think that's what it says on the top of the box i could be mistaken but looks the same and here is the inside of the steel book so you can't see the rest of the artwork unless you can take this off oh you can oh wait oh no it's kind of sticky but it doesn't look like there's anything on the back, but the Steelbook logo is in there. So I guess you do keep this on. So that's a little disappointing. I would like to see the artwork on that side, but it is what it is. Let's move this out the way. And we do have some inside artwork, which actually looks really nice. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay. So the front and back. Disappointed with this, but I guess because it's going to have that little physical piece. I guess it is what it is, but... Let's go ahead and keep looking. So here's the little paper. It's actually like kind of a little bit of a manual in there, which is kind of cool. We don't really see that very often. And here it shows you how to install your game code. This is an example code there, which is pretty cool. I like when they have manuals, especially in collector's edition. It should always have like some more physical stuff. That's why you get that one. And here's what the little credit looks like. It is heavy, which is actually cool. I like that. And the back has the code up here if I accidentally leaked it it's gonna be redeemed before I upload this anyways but that's pretty neat now I'm gonna take out the box within the box for the watch 
Okay, so that was everything in the box. This is all that's left. And this has a little bit of weight to it too. This is actually really cool. I wish they would have better boxes like this, but it would cost a lot more and they are already expensive. But that's pretty cool, look at that. It's like some futuristic space crate right here. Shows you the Bluetooth smartwatch right there. Very cool, I'm liking this, look at that. This is something you can just like display, it shows latch. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up. So we pull down and we rotate. Okay, and it just pops, look at that, ooh. Ooh, that's nice. That's actually pretty fancy, the way it just opens up. Very cool. So we have the patch right here. Not really a fan of patches, but it is what it is. You get a patch, you get a patch. Here is how you use your Chronomark watch. So how you pair it. Okay, I am gonna check this out. The charger, the charger feels super cheap. Really cheap, like a little piece of plastic that you can just snap in half. But it does have a charger, which is always nice. What is that? Oh, I guess they'll open it up. Hmm. Interesting. And a little USB. Oh, and it's a USB micro. Wow. At least make it USB-C, but it is what it is. Interesting. The watch itself. Okay. Chrono Mark. Here you go. Let's go ahead and get a better look look at that okay interesting oh those are the pins so I can swap out these uh, bands I'm guessing all right pull that to the side here's more of a fabric bands if you want that instead of the rubber and that's it nothing on the inside just this big old piece of rubber to keep everything all safe Interesting. I do like this box though. This box is fire right here. So mine seems to be fully dead. It won't turn on. But I did discover that this is also a magnet. So that's pretty cool. Like that. So I'm going to charge it up a little bit. Turn it on see how it works. Well now that I charged up the watch it a little bit. So here's like the main screen right here. And I guess you can switch off between three different ones. So here's the second one. And the last one has that logo right there okay and then we got some options here we have like sensor graphs uh, music control weather moon phase notification settings torch so the only ones I can do without actually having my phone connected would be torch which is basically the f flashlight which is kind of cool I mean pretty much any smartwatch can do that and here's the sensor graphs which is also cool look at this there's all the little sensors right there you could change them. Pretty nice. That's pretty cool. I thought that was neat. And what's the next one? Uh, music control. Can't really go on that one. Oh, let's do um, Moon Phase is actually pretty cool. Look at this. That actually looks pretty cool. Kind of looks like a comic book artwork. And then you can change the moon. Look at that. That's kind of cool. All right, let's go back. And then we'll check on settings in case you guys want to see like, all the different settings right there. Got all that good stuff there. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the watch. Not bad. It's neat. I can't see myself ever wearing it, though, but it is neat to have, I guess, if you're like a big fan of this game, which when I saw the reviews, it's it's seven, it's mostly seven, so it's not bad at all. Well, there you guys go. That is the unboxing of Starfield Consolation Edition. But is this edition worth picking up? I would say it is neat and cool with that case and that watch, but for $300, most of it's digital and that still book is it would have been better if it didn't cut off half of the inside artwork which is terrible and the smartwatch is basic at best it is a nice little doodad to have if you're a big fan of the game but other than that i haven't played this game it looks cool don't get me wrong i'm probably gonna play it i might enjoy it but it's not gonna be like my game of the year my favorite game ever so at least to me this is not worth picking up but it did sell out like everywhere and they're selling them like crazy so i mean if you want to take that into consideration, then it might be worth picking up to you if you got it retail. 
But if it's not retail, definitely not. I would stay away. At least to me. But I want to know what you guys think. Have you played this game? What do you think about this game? And what do you think about this edition? Is it worth picking up to you? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video or like this edition, go ahead and click the like. If you guys want to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you turn on those notifications so that way you don't miss out on any upcoming videos or giveaways that I do. And for all other things that I post, check them on the social networks, like my Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'll leave the link to those in the description. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.